Welcome to Good Mythical More. Uh, we've been in the world of professional sports. Now let's go into the world of Olympic sports. Right. And sports, test, sports, test sports. our knowledge in, in weird ways. But first, let's give $50 to mythical.com to Anna B for repping that merch out in the wild with hashtag merchicality. Yes, we got the hoodie there, the Be Your Mythical Best hoodie. You see what mm -hmm, happens? Mm -hmm. You represent mythical in the wild. You use hashtag it's a good hoodie. merchicality. We might find you and give you some more money at mythical.com so you can keep repping. That's right. So we're comparing Olympic trivia to what? To important global statistics. It's a very you know, straightforward thing that, you know, you know, people do all the time. Statistics. Yeah. So right. I have a random, extremely serious questions for you that test your knowledge in both of these areas. Okay. Can we hear one? Yeah. Can we hear all of them and kind of make it uh, an internet Let's video? do that. Let's go through all the questions and then we'll come back and you can answer. Which is greater? The number of times the modern Olympics has been canceled or the cost of a side of guacamole at a Chipotle in London? Um, Man. <laughs> well, how much, how much is extra guac here in America? I think it might be, is it over $2? It might be $2.30. I was gonna say the, the Olympic, Olympics may have been canceled. Oh, you're, you're, two, you're on the Olympic side. I'll do the guac side, times. you do the. Two or three times. The Ma modern maybe, era. Maybe just. Not like the naked era. Yeah, like the, yeah. The since they started being the official. Wearing clothes? Only once that I could. They were totally naked they didn't at the have start, during right? during the war, like. I mean, it wasn't even like a, to... like a, a, a loincloth of any type. How much is extra? The Olympics. How much is extra guac? Were they legitimately nude at first? Yeah, originally, yeah. Yes. Why? It's not like they- it was just part of it, man. So it was like your physique was totally on display, like your, like I think all people, types of prowess? I think it's just as simple as people like to look at people being naked. And it's just like, if you could talk somebody into doing Roman something baths. Naked, naked, you just, and they say, okay, then you just do it. And then eventually they were like, I think I need to secure stuff. I think you might be paying $4 for uh, guac and- uh, Extra guac? How much is it in, in, in the US? $2.30 what I think. Man, so it's gonna be like. Can we check that? Well, you cannot. You cannot have that um, for later. Answer. I just. I want I to know it. eventually. Yeah, yeah. I have it. Oh man. Oh, you do have it. Yeah. Of course you do. I think it's part of the answer. I think guac is more expensive than the number of times the Olympics have been canceled. Um, I think the Olympics in modern times have been, been, been canceled uh, three times. Well, that, it's either two or three, right? So, but I think it, I still we're agreeing that it's less because I think it's over three dollars in in uh, UK. England. Or Final whatever. answer. You, okay. There's a, well, okay. A side of guacamole costs 2.4 pounds. In the US, it's like $2.65, $2.75. Well, I was right about that, kind of, almost are. within 35 cents. And the modern Olympics have only been canceled for world wars, but there was once for World War I Three in 1916 those. and twice for World Dang War it. II, 1940 and 1944. Yeah. So three times. So I, so, we were all so you were right it. and wrong, both of you. And but I was ways. right on both accounts and still wrong about the thing. How did that happen? Yeah, it was confusing. So uh -huh. if I if it I, if if it, if I had believed it was three times they had been canceled, I would have said the Olympics had the higher number. I did not believe that they were more than three dollars. Just to be okay. clear. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear <laughs> eyes, full hearts. Is that the full thing? No, it's a, full hearts first. Full hearts, clear eyes, yeah, can't yeah. lose. Full hearts, clear eyes, can't lose. Full hearts, clear eyes, oh, can't lose. No, wait, wait, hold on. You had it right the first time. My <laughs> script had it wrong. Oh, somehow Boom. you still managed to get those powers. Patrick, oh, wow. Patrick gave me his powers anyway. Did you see that? Is clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose? Did you say clear ass? <laughs> yeah, clear ass. <laughs> clear eyes. You, hey, listen, every great quarterback does an enema before the game. <laughs> if you don't have a clear ass, you can't... Get, you can't move. Right, you gotta. That's the real if Mahomes. Got, if you got one on deck, you think any perfect, and think about it if you're like a, if you're an Olympian. 
I would definitely do that if I was a professional. You don't athlete. want to have one on deck when you're on deck. Yeah. That's what they say in baseball. A lot of times, though, things do sort of like clinch up when you're playing. But like, I'm sure I played some games in high school where I, I had a turd waiting, and <laughs> I should have, I should have got, I should have dropped it. I would have, I would have hit 80 three pointers that season. I should have cleared my eyes. <laughs> I should have done that. I should. Okay, only five countries have participated in every modern Summer Olympic Games. Greece, Great Britain, France, Switzerland, and Australia. Which of these countries, if any, does not have a KFC? So the U.S. decided not to participate one year because of some, like, Russian doping or something like that? Did we, like, protest? Is that what happened? I don't know. We'll find out in a second. Which one of those doesn't have a KFC? Mm Mm-hmm. Greece, Australia, keep Great going. Britain, France, France, Switzerland. Great Britain, Switzerland. Or none. Or none. France. Uh, well, it's either Greece would, or Switzerland. What would KFC be in French? Le KFC? Paris is just too like commercial of a place for there not to be a KFC. But I, like Switzerland, you can see that like they're not gonna do that, or Greece is like too greasy. G- Greece said if you want to have one here, it's got to be all white, and they wouldn't go for it. The colonel wouldn't go for it. Like you mean the building? Yeah. Uh. Yeah. All buildings in Greece are are painted white. It could. I mean, you might be right. I'm saying Greece. I'm gonna go with Switzerland. Okay, so the United Kingdom as a whole has 928 KFCs. Good God. Australia has 653, France has 248, Greece has 15, Ooh. and Switzerland has 11. So they all have KFCs. What KFCs an anticlimactic piece of... <laughs> Hold on, but Switzerland has the least. Yeah. So, so Why don't you get a chance to throw the football? Right. Because you, you're the closest. Say clear eyes first. Give clear farts. Uh, <laughs> no, you need to try. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. <laughs> it went far, but it did not. It went right over the. It, there was no receiver at, at the pyramids of Giza. Wow, I didn't know there was little extra pyramids down there next to the, the Great Pyramid. Is that not? Is it? Is that Photoshop? I think that's the outhouse. Is that where the cat is? Yeah, the cat, the fa- the cat's pharaoh, the pharaoh's cat. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Whoa, a little chest pass. Oh wow, you still mm-hmm. still caught it. Mm-hmm. I think you just got better catchers than me. I have the accuracy of Patrick Mahomes. Mahomes, Mahomes. He's my home. Which is greater, the number of medals won by Mexico at the Winter Olympics? Olympics, or the number of foreign adaptations of the Powerpuff Girls? <laughs> Powerpuff. Powerpuff. Powerpuff or Powderpuff? Powerpuff. Powerpuff. I've never seen Mexico foreign adaptations. In, in my memory, because rep- it feels like something that like, if that has happened, like definitely if that had happened since like social media times, it would be like something people were talking about. But the power puff there's no like there's is, no snowy peaks. Is that an American property that like l- is l- inspired by anime? I don't think there's any zero foreign adaptations cuz it itself is just a americanized you know Have you watched it? Rip off of it's anime. In, it is inspired by that, but it's like I've only seen the characters. But they, it's definitely like American humor type approach and it and it hasn't been exported I think it, it was an M, it, it, I think there are, are I stand strong six so I'm saying foreign adaptations if Mexico has one that's enough to be and it. Mexico has two there's only been one foreign adaptation of the Powerpuff Girls in Japan called Powerpuff Girls Z really but Mexico has never meddled in the Winter Olympics Ooh. Okay, so you were wrong. Mm-hmm. I mean, there arts. is there's snow in Mexico somewhere. There has to be. Clear arts. 
Clear hearts. KG. Full eyes. Well, you can't just lose. got back from Mexico. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, you... full hearts, can't lose. Oh, right over Mount Fuji. Dang it. Or is that Mount Rainier? That's Fuji. But you have got a lot. Oh, hold on. Are of you heat. sure? What's Rainier? Washington? They look similar. KG, you just got back from Mexico. I did. Did you, did you snow ski? I snow ski. Did you luge? I did not. Did you, um, did you do that thing where you ski and shoot a gun? Oh yeah, I did that. Oh, you did? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I knew I would get to but it. But it was, but it was water skiing. I mean, they, you, there, there's snow That'd somewhere in Mexico. Sport. It's not like, you can, you can get snow in Mexico. I think the Rockies continue down into Mexico and there's probably some snow on them. But you didn't hear that from me. Is that Mount Fuji or Mount Rainier? I think it's Fuji. Could you bring up a side by side of both of them so that I can see? He's on a power trip, don't give in to it. They look the same? Rainier and Fuji. Uh, Quick reminder, Good Mythical Evening's coming up fast. Um, We're gonna be inebriated. We're gonna be playing not safe for work games right here at this desk and in this studio, but uh, the hinges are gonna be just flapping. It's gonna be crazy. And it's gonna be live August 24th, 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Uh, grab your tickets at goodmythicalevening.com. There's different levels of tickets. Um, so you don't wanna miss it because that's the only way you can see it. And um, he speaks the truth. I wanna, I want you, to, I want you to be there for it because I, I need, um, I'm gonna need some emotional support because I might get emotional this year. I mean, I will say if you go to the website closer, and you can't huh? make that date, yeah, you can still buy a uh, VOD ticket because we don't want anybody to miss out. It's just it's oh. better. Oh, when it's live, I uh, forgot about it's that. Just. Did we do that you know, the previous two years? Yeah, because people but, have sometimes so the you video know, people on demand. To do on, but the video on demand is a rental. Yeah. It's a for yeah. like a certain. That comes of time. out afterwards, so you can't. So you can't like enjoy you, the liveness, but you can enjoy. You can enjoy it to an extent. There's all kinds of ticket packages over there, so just go over there. You should go check. You it know out. what? When, when you go over there, you'll know more than I do right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, and um, yeah, that's, I'm only going to get stupider as it gets closer. Right. Okay, which came first, the first Pizza Hut in Australia or the introduction of synchronized swimming as an Olympic sport? How far back do you think synchronized swimming went? Um, I've seen I some think it's really, really old, old footage of synchronized swimming. I think it's it really old. one of the first. Because it, the, it, it's definitely not a recent thing because... The first what in, in Who Australia? would be doing it? Pizza Hut. Pizza Hut. It's not like the first Pizza Hut in, Aust- in Australia is probably 1975. Pizza Huts were huge in the 80s. I think 1974, it, I think, maybe. I think we're talking 1984. But synchronized either, swimming either, is either way, we're, we're both saying no, synchronized no, swimming. No doubt, no doubt. You're both saying synchronized swimming was before yes. Pizza but, Hut? But our competition is now about the date, 74 or 84. Synchronized swimming, also known as artistic swimming, I've never heard that before, was first introduced. Now, you really want to have a clear ass before you um, do the synchronized right, swimming. Right, because you want to be able to see um, your feet in the, po- in the, in the pool. Well, you don't want to get too cloudy. But have you ever seen two synchronized swimmers take dumps at the same time? Because if they do that, they win an automatic gold. <laughs> automatic and there, there she go. Oh, and now, okay. The double yes. dookie. They both defecated. <laughs> same time, same shape, same flotation. <laughs> they get on the, they every, they're like eating the same diet. I mean, I do think that they go through life together, so that it's very method. Synchronized farting. But there's like six a thing. of them. You think six people could poop at the exact same time, even I on land? I guarantee you, I could arrange that. <laughs> yeah, I think it would be a row. I mean, here we are trying with catch the fish with granddad, and the whole time we should have been trying with synchronized pooping. Deuce uh, dunkers. Anyway. The deuce what? dunkers. Yeah. Oh, God. Um, it was introduced as an Olympic sport in Los Angeles at the 1984 Summer Games. So you, had, you said 84, but you said for Pizza Hut. 
Yeah. Uh, whereas Australia's first Pizza Hut opened in 1970. Oh, Ooh, you win. 70. Man. We both lose and you win. Now, I will say, uh, some people on Reddit, according to this website I'm looking at, consider Mount Rainier the Mount Fuji of the United States. Great. What's the website that you're looking at? Uh, it's the Mount Fuji of Seattle. <laughs> the Mount Fuji of Seattle. I The only way, reason I know that is because I once heard somebody uh, talking about Mount Rainier, and they're like, it looks a lot like Mount Fuji. And I was like, that's cool. <laughs> and so that's- and Now what, you've shared that coolness with no, us. No, and I saw it, I was like, I wanna be sure, man. It certainly looks like Fuji, but it might be Rainier. I don't, I mean, I've never been to either one of them. Have you ever seen either one of them? Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts can't lose. Good gracious. Get it, yes! That's the biggest he wide got receiver it. I've ever seen. I threw, I, like, I threw it back into that stadium. Okay, which number is greater? The age of the youngest person to ever compete at the Olympics or the number of times the Olympics has been hosted in the Americas? Well, if you're, I mean, you can be like a 12 year old gymnast. You mean Summer Olympics or All Olympics? Winter All Olympics. And, winter and summer together. Uh, the youngest person to ever compete in the Olympics was probably 12. I'm saying 12. That's what I said, so you have to choose another number. Oh. Uh, You're gonna choose 11. I guess I'll go to 11. Well, then I'm gonna go to 10. And, I mean. No, 12. 12 is, it can't Dang, be I mean, the, the U.S. has hosted the Olympics more. Then what? I didn't hear The Americas, not just the U.S. Oh, the Americas. Both Americas? Yeah, all the Americas. Oh, d yeah, no doubt. This is uh, more than the, the oldest, youngest person. Which is, I think, 11. I mean, because just 12. between Los Angeles, Salt Lake. Atlanta. Atlanta. Um, Vancouver. That's four right there since I've been alive. Just what about in Mexico North America. City? Mexico City probably did it at some point. And then you got everything in South America. I mean, you know, there what was about one Tulum? in Rio de Janeiro. Rio de Janeiro was one. Um, uh, I'm losing a little bit of confidence in this. But no, I'm gonna go with, the, there's, been a, there's been 12 Olympics in the Americas, and there's been a, and, and the youngest person is eleven. Final answer for me. Um, I think there's been, I think there's more. I think I'm going with the twelve year old as being more. And how many Olympics? Uh, eight. The Americas have hosted the Olympics thirteen times, eight times in the U.S. That's what I was thinking. Three times in Canada. Once in Mexico, once in Brazil. The youngest person to ever complete, compete in the Olympics is also the youngest person to ever medal in the Olympics. In the inaugural modern Olympics in Athens in 1896, Dimitrios Londras competed in gymnastics on the parallel bars and earned a bronze medal at the age of nine. Ten. 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 Clear hearts, full eyes, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Clear eyes, full hearts, can't lose. Boy, I'm throwing it all around the world. <laughs> Effortlessly, but there's no, there's no receivers there. Man. Now, that might not be Paris, that could be Vegas. Can we, can we get, can we get? Side by side? Uh, can, I, can I get a side by side of the Eiffel Tower in Vegas? And also, actually side by side by side, the third thing I want it to be that sphere. So, Paris, Vegas, and then Vegas Sphere. Sphere. <laughs> Good Mythical Evening is coming up fast. We'll be going live on August 24th at 10 p.m. Eastern, 7 p.m. Pacific. Tickets available now at goodmythicalevening.com.